Yeah, we truly made a mess of things, didn't we? We truly did. And two bonfires. Okay, uh, I'm going to light this. I'm very sorry about... Yeah. As I mentioned at the start of all of this, I shall not take responsibility. Oh, and in the meantime, uh, I... I'm curious why are you here? Visions of death, possibly. Travel to the drag heap. Okay, we're going to have to check that out in a little bit, but first off, Firelink Shrine. Oh, that was a close call. Honestly, I might have purchased too much of this stuff, but I'm glad I did. Really glad I did. Uh, which means, hi. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart's desire. Peace. Well, lots and lots of peace after that madness. Um, we can level up once, which means only 13 for another HP level. Uh, at this point, I'm thinking, yeah, we're going for more strength, slowly working that up all the way towards 40. So, thank you. Farewell, Ashen. So, let's take a look. Let's take a look. The soul of Sister Frida. Frida was the first Ash to enter the painting, but together with the good father, they chose rot over fire. But again, I really, really don't know. Rot over fire. But is fire the same as linking the fire or not? Uh, Lutleth, hi. Yep, I've returned. Begin transposition. What does this soul give me? Frida's grave sight. Uh, intelligence and faith based always. but uh, A great scythe wielded by sister Elfrida. With a curved blade thinly coated by painted world frost that easily breaks the guard of shields. In the painting, the scythe is a symbol of a long lost home, possibly explaining Elfrida's preference for it. With skill, Elfrida's stance. Conjure a magic bladed support scythe into the left hand, while the great scythe remains in the right. A stance derived from Elfrida's former swordsmanship. Use normal attack to leap forward and swing twice, or strong attack to coat the earth with running frost. Very sweet, not my kind of thing, but awesome. And the Rose of Ariandel. Bring me my flail. A flail used by the bulbous father of the painted world to shred his own skin, producing blood to appease the flame. Both a weapon and a miracle catalyst. So basically, he was whacking himself with this flail on his back or something, what they usually do with flails, to appease the flame, but uh, so many questions. Ariandel being the restorer of the painted world, knew that it was painted with blood and only blood could protect the secrets. What do you mean, the restorer of the painted world? So it was... That makes me think, it was originally the painted world of Ariamis until Ariandel showed up and he restored the painting when it was in Tatters or something. Maybe? Uh, no clue. Anyway, skill awakening. Violently flail oneself to trigger an awakening that temporarily boosts the strength of miracles. Just as the good father used to rose himself. Yeah, fun times. Well, not my kind of stuff, but nonetheless, decently sweet. Uh, which means I have a few more things to do, uh, starting with Yuria. Um, a terrible accident befell your presumed sister. I was not involved with it. Just saying. Ah, uh, our Lord and Liege. Twas the soul of my sister. You have something to say about that? Cool. A poor wench turned to ash, who would abandon Londor. If thou wouldst, let it nourish thy lordship, and in return do her once more kindness. Remember those who stayed by her to the end, in the shadows cast by fire. And lastly, my lord, take up thy rightful mantle of usurper. 
Again, that is not going to happen, and I'm so sorry. Be safe, our lord. Okay, so, um, yeah. So she straight... She straight from the path that Yuria had in mind, which is to usurp the flame. So from that we can presume that whatever path Elfrida took was not what was meant to happen if it was according to what Yuria wanted. Which would make you think that the path that they took, the path of rot. You'd imagine they'd take the path of fire because they would relink the fire again, which is not what Yuria wants, but... Uh, what is the deal with the rot? I still have way too many questions. Uh, but first, uh, I should not teleport to this one, but I should teleport to the chapel! Oh, the place is still on fire, dear god. So what happened to the Lord Vessel in that case? Like, I'm assuming that the thing that Father Ariandel was carrying was the Lord Vessel. It looked like one, for sure. Uh... But no. God, that fire is loud, my god. Okay, but anyway, um, what I need to do right now is first up talk to a little painter, friends. Those who aren't akin to fire cannot paint a world. Those absorbed by fire must not paint a world. Don't worry. I haven't forgotten, Mother. Those who aren't kin to fire, those who don't know about fire should not paint a world. Those who are absorbed by it should can't paint fire, shouldn't paint. Uh, can't paint a painting, shouldn't paint a painting. Okay. Who was your mother? Like, Gail is your uncle. Was Frida your mother? Honestly, there's no telling. Um, hi. I can hear the fire crackle. Yeah, it's bloody loud. Sorry. And soon, I will see it. And then you can paint a world cold and dark and what was it? Gentle place? My thanks, Ashen One. I will finish the painting of a cold, dark and very gentle place so that it might make a home for someone someday. Yeah. Okay. My thanks, Ashen One. I will finish the painting of a cold so that it might Okay, um... No. Um... Okay. What? So what did I do? I mean, I, I, I'm fully aware that I caused a lot of mayhem. What exactly did I do? I started... I brought fire to Ariandel. Not willingly, all I wanted to do was just talk. All this is not my fault. Let's be fair. But... This fire is burning. This fire originated from what's supposed to be a Lord Vessel. So this is gonna keep on burning. Is this going to spread to the rest of the painting? Does this mean that the rest of the painting will burn? And burn the rot away? What does that mean? And the summon sign is gone. Why are you s Oh, that's a red summon sign. Okay. Uh, I want to reload the area just to make sure that she indeed has nothing else to say. Because right now I'm just horribly confused. Uh, in the meantime, though, there is one small area that we can quickly revisit, I guess. The Corvian Settlement. Wait, is the... Is that an audio glitch or is... I can hear the burning. I am very sorry. Nonetheless. I am still hearing that noise. That is not coming... 
That is not coming from the bonfire. Is the... Was the sky always like this or is this signaling smoke? The painting is burning away. Uh, again, if I did something bad, I'm horribly sorry, but really I was not left much of a choice. Uh, but... Friend? Friend? Uh, are you my friend? I can't target you. Um. Hi. Did I do the right thing? Oh, my, thank you. I can hear the crackling from here. Yeah, me too. The sound of my home. The painting of Arindel. Burning away. Okay, thank you. When the world rots, we set it afire for the sake of the next world. It's the one thing we do right, unlike those fools on the outside. <laughs> oh, that... Okay, so... Uh, how, how... Okay, I've got so many thoughts going through my mind right now. So, this world, it begins to rot. The people set it on fire, destroy it, let it end. So that the painter may paint a new world when she sees the fire of the current world burning. So that she envisions a new world in that new painting. That painting will make someone a goodly home. And the same would possibly happen to that painting again. And you would keep going and going deeper and deeper, more and more layers. That's currently what I'm understanding. But when you talk about the, world, it's the, the fools on the outside. Right. Unlike those fools on the outside. That is what you mean with the people outside of the painting. The fools on the outside who currently just let the world rot by not letting it restart the way it's meant to. That kind of makes it sound like I did a good thing. But I can't at this point in time be 100% certain. Because I'm still bloody confused. But anyway, that means our time at least here is almost over. We need to talk to you once more and then see what the deal is with that drag heap thing. And then it's time to decide on what to do with the final boss of the main game and to decide what to do with the second DLC. Which one do we do first? Which one do we do second? Anything else to say? Like, I don't even know your name at this point in time. My thanks, Ashen One. I can almost see the flame. Soon, Uncle Gale will bring me the pigment. What? I wonder if he has found it. The dark soul of man. I'm sorry, what? I wonder if Uncle Gale has found it. The dark soul of man. What? Um, is this your typical to be continued? A glimpse of what is yet to come? Have we not seen the last of Gil just yet? And can the dude finally give us some answers? Okay, so your uncle, slave knight Gil, he's currently on his way to gather pigment for the painting that you're about to paint. But the pigment is the dark soul of man. Is he literally going after the furtive pygmies from Dark Souls 1? I wonder if Uncle Gale has found it. The dark soul of man. Oh. Okay. Um. I'm not entirely sure what to think of that. I mean, that, it sounds awesome, but at the same time, is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Is that... I don't know. And here, God, so much noise from the crackling of this painting. Uh, but, anyway. The drag heap. What is that? 
and Y is the separate bonfire that appears right over here. Because I'm curious. Like, there, there were... There were only two... Bosses in... The Ash of Ariandel DLC, right? Uh, light bomb fight. Thank you. Um, where are we? What? Um. What? the hell happened here? Um... Okay... Time for jumping. Take the... Wait. That's Gale. Take the plunge. Um, wait, is that? Yep, that's a building moving. Um, okay, clearly, very clearly, this is. No longer the painted world of Ariandel, uh, which means I'm going to take a quick look. Drag heap. Is that the Ringed City DLC, or is that still part of what I need to do? Uh, give me a short moment. So it turns out that apparently, indeed, the drag heap is the start of the Ringed City DLC. Which means we found a way to enter it, that's a plus, but at the same time, that seriously begins to beg the question. What do we do now? Normally, I always finish the DLCs first. I finish the Artorius DLC first. I finish the Three Crown DLCs first, before we would face Gwyn, before we would face Nashandra. What do I do this time around? People have outright told me you need to do the Ringed City DLC after fighting the main boss of the game. And it kind of goes against everything I've done up, up until this point in time, which makes me really hesitant about this, but... If I'm doing this, I can't guarantee that I'm going to find a smooth point of finishing stuff, a smooth point to close the chapter on Dark Souls for good. <sighs> Which means right now I think I'm just going to follow the advice that people have given me. It's time to place the final cinders of a lord on the final throne, but before we do that I just want to make sure if no one has anything new to say for now, we'll check them again after placing it, and then let's see what happens. Alright, it turns out that nobody really has anything new to say from what I can see, at least not Yuri or the Firekeeper, so yeah. Offer Sins of a Lord. And before I do this, I do have 30,000 souls. Um, let me buy a few consumables so they won't really go to waste. Oh, and it turns out it's a good thing that I'm returning here because apparently the Shrine Handmaid has some new stuff for sale. <laughs> Ordained Hood. Garb of Frida, sister of the painted world, a common black hood. After renouncing everything, Frida discovered a people that she wished to protect and assumed the precise form that they yearned for. Okay, uh, a thick blue dress soon with a thick fabric and hidden beneath her light blue dress are the trousers of a swordsman. An offer of protection implies the eventual wielding of a blade and spilling of blood as Frida learned during the establishment of the Sable Church. Still know very little about that. But that's cool. But anyway, uh, yeah, stuff to purchase. I don't know in what regards I'm going to need to buy more stuff. Like, uh, a few gold, extra gold by resins surely can't do any harm. And... Uh, 
you know what? Embers, more of them, again, surely can't do any harm. There we go. I have brought you more than enough souls. You have a fortune. Shut up. Oh, dear God. Anyway, the final cinders of a lord. Let's do this. And the whole thing that there is a head is still kind of gruesome. Same with Yorm. It's like... Why? Uh, like, again, skulls. Skull. How, again, do we keep that in our pockets? Uh, and sludge. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, you moved. You most definitely moved. The five lords sit their five thrones. All thanks to thee, most worthy of lords. Ashen one, with the lords as thy witness, bend thy knee afore the bonfire's coiled sword, and let the lord's embers acknowledge thee as their true heir, a true lord, fit to link the fire. That is with a notch notch wink wink thing, right? Like the whole betrayal thing that's still happening. Can we talk? Ashen one, if no, I, me, I don't want to kill you. <sighs> okay. Well, Ashen one. So bend the knee before Makes the. Thou thy peace discover. Before the bonfire. I can only kneel. I can't sit down. Oh boy. All right. This is it. Noble Lords of Cinder. The fire fades. I even let Leth. Ah. Uh. And the lords go without thrones. Does that mean Lutworth is gone from now? I mean, he burned up, so... God. Surrender your fires... ...to the true heir. So, what exactly are we doing with this now? Let him grant death. To the old gods of Lordran, deliverers of the first flame. Um. Let him grant death to the old gods of Londor? Deliver us of the first flame. What's she talking about, Gwyn? And this place is called the Kiln. This is something that I always wondered. Is this place always in the exact same location? Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3. Theoretically still the same place? Or different? But... Flameless Shrine. Is this time bladed again? Do I still have my torch? Yes, I still have my torch. Good. Is this time related? Is the Filing Shrine that we know an illusion? 
Oh, everything's blocked off. Really, is it all an illusion or... What is... Ah! I really don't know what to think of all of this. Like, th is this the reality and has all that we've been seeing up until now just been a vision of some sort? Has the filing shrine that we've been into always been a fake? Um, really can't go anywhere except outside. Not even up here? No. Ah, oh, well, brilliant. Oh. Um. <laughs> okay, that is amazing. Oh, God. This would be the perfect moment for a message of this place again. Okay, now I understand why people wanted me to do the Ring City DLC after this. Because all of a sudden it would make sense that the two places, wherever the hell we are, like that looks like basically structure of Lothric Castle or the same sort of towers and walls and. Ah, uh, the world is really moving in on itself till there's nothing remaining. Oh boy. Looks amazing, but... Oh boy. Okay, so... Proceed to the first flame. Um... Gorgeous view ahead. Yes, praise the gorgeous view. In this case, visions... Of praise the sun. If that is still the sun. Ah. Oh. Okay. Uh, by the way, I don't need this. Uh, do I need this? Yes, I do. Do I need anything else? I hope not. Uh, proceed to the first flame. I... What's... What is with the large amount of bonfires? Right here. Oh, wait. Are you... Drag heap. Travel to the... So you would come all the way over here and finish stuff up, or you would go all the way towards the end of the Ashes of Ariandel DLC. That is sweet. Okay, well, if I'm going to have the time to question about what the hell is going on here, it will be, it will be in the future, which means for now. Uh, don't give up. What is this place called? This is not the Flameless Shrine. This is the Kiln of the First Flame, which is this. The same as Dark Souls 1. The same as Dark Souls 2. The kiln of the first flame. Uh, okay. I hope there's not going to be black knights on the road. Because they used to be in the past. They were a horror to face in Dark Souls 1. I hear summon signs. I don't have interest in summon signs right now. Ah, uh, here it's gonna happen. Okay. Am I ready? I don't think so. Oh, uh, no, I don't. I want to read the message to thank Master ahead. No, no, no. No. Stop it. There we go. Uh, Master indeed. <sighs> well, whoever you are, Protector of the flame. It's time for it to die. It really is time for it to die. Yep, that's battle. That's battle. Soul of Cinder. Okay, friend. Okay. No. You shall not deal with fire. No. Ow. No. Can you? Okay. I am right now making the mistake of, hey, I cast Frida to stagger. No. I definitely cast Frida to stagger. I can't cast you to stagger. Okay, friend. Come on. Oh, I can cast you to stagger, at least somewhat. Okay. There we go. Slow and steady. As always. 
Whoa, 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 what? 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 Is that a... Is that a falchion or a scimitar? Ow, that's... That's mental. Oh. Wait. 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 You're a pyromancer. You're a pyromancer who hurts. And that is the same backflip and fire within. Oh, I see what you're doing here. I definitely think that I see... That's a spear! You are the soul of Cinder. You are the... Ow, soul. Of those who went before me. Ah. Dear God, you've got some rage on that, friend. Okay. Although, I have to say, though, this almost feels too easy. Even for me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Indeed. Oh boy. That's Gwyn. That is Gwyn. Oh. S excuse me? That's Gwyn's moveset. Face the Lords of Cinder. Yet again. Oh, light. Okay. Okay. Oh. This is awesome. This is... That's the grab attack of Gwyn. I... I can't parry you. I... You know what? Ow! I don't even want to try and parry you, because that's going to end horribly. Likewise, this is ending horribly. Oh, boy. Oh, that is so awesome. Oh, that is so bad. Oh, that is gonna be bad! <laughs> God. Okay, I love this. I I love this. Oh, God. That is insane! Stop it! Please! Do me a favor and don't do that again. No, ah, wrong moment. Okay, you know what? Oh, I survived that pretty well. Oh, that could have been pretty bad for me. Pretty bad indeed. Okay, no. Soul of Cinder, whether you... Oh, okay, you really got me there. <sighs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Whether you're all the previous Lords of Cinders combined, whatever the case may be, ah, you are going down. I am not going to die today, I hope. I really hope. I really hope I'm not going to die today. No! Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. Oh, no kicking. Don't you dare. Don't. You. Dare. No third face, please. No third face. Lord of Sin the Fallen, the soul of the Lords. Oh, wow. You know, for a final boss of the final Dark Souls game. That is so extremely fitting. Sure, I might have killed him on my first try, but I don't care about that. Because that fight was bloody epic. And I have a feeling that I didn't even see all of the changes he could f f shape into. Like, okay, he started with normal swordsmanship. He went to the curved scimitar or something, or the falchion, or whatever, because with the backflip... Then the spear. He was a pyromancer. He has not been a sorcerer. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be a sorcerer face in there as well if you let him do that. But... Oh boy, that was awesome. Uh, so. The soul of the lords. This is literally 
all the previous lords who linked the flame combined. That is so flavorful, I love that. Uh, so of the lords, one of the twisted souls seeped in strength. Since Lord Gwyn, the first lord of Cinder, many exalted lords have linked the first flame. And it is their very souls that have manifested themselves as defender of the flame. God, love it. Absolutely love it. <sighs> but that means that the final boss of the main game is gone. Which... Right now begs the question. What do we do? There's a summon sign. And that's a choice. Summon the Firekeeper. Or claim the fire for ourselves and link the first flame. Ah, uh, that is unfortunately gonna have to wait. Because obviously, with this place being fake and with me having also a lot of souls, so I might need to level up, do something else. Um, right now, the Ringed City DLC awaits. But before we check that out, um, yeah. Hi. Ah, well met. Well met, well met. Do you have anything for sale? Anything regarding this soul of cinder? Oh, you do. Fire Link Helm. Helm of the soul of cinder. A deific manifestation of the lords of cinder who linked the first flame. It resembles a knight's helm, but bears hideous burns and contortions. A misshapen crown can be seen upon its rear. It exists as a symbol of the great lords and the noble acts of linking the fire, though it is no more than an empty husk. In the fire link armor, it resembles a knight's armor, but bears hideous burns. Eh, taking the shape of a deadly ribcage? Yeah, god. Oh, that is pretty sweet. Really sweet. Uh, but anyway. Ashen one. That brings one question. Love, love. Uh, you did your duty well. You really did your duty well, I guess. It, uh, I'm sorry if I'm going to ruin it all for you, but... Uh, examine. Uh, I... S leave. Examine. Switch actions is... Pick up item. Um, let's examine first and begin transposition, because that is apparently still a thing. Uh, let's take a look at what we can transpose. Soul of the Lord Sunlight Spear, that's where it is. Hurl Sunlight Spear, Miracle of Gwyn, the First Lord. The tales of Gwyn's arch dragon hunts describe the inception of the Age of Fire. And the Fire Link Greatsword. The Lords of Cinder linked the first flame, and this greatsword was wielded by a deific manifestation. This coiled sword, thrust in the bonfire, existed long before the throneless lords themselves. Huh. That's kind of interesting. So the bonfire was there before everything. Or am I misunderstanding that? In any case, skill Ember. The fading flame momentarily illuminates and launches itself forward. So bloody sweet. But that means, what item did you leave behind, Lutworth? And is this a bad thing that we take it? I hope not. Skull ring. Okay, let me take a look. Where are you, skull ring? Easier to be detected by enemy. You don't. Why would you wear that? One of Corland's transposed wonders, derived from the soul of a soul feeder. Okay. Easy to be detected by enemies. The soul feeder was a beast that insatiably absorbed souls to feed its own power. Even after its accursed corpse was burned, it is said that the pungent stench of souls left the air permanently stained. And you wear that. I mean, it's brilliant that you transposed it, blood left, but... Uh. Anyway, I'm happy to know that I can still transpose using your corpse, which sounds wrong, but... Still useful, because there are still more souls to be gained in the Ringed City. 
which means for now uh, I definitely need a bit of a break and then we shall continue with the final DLC of Dark Souls 3. I'll see you shortly. It's been a long road and what a journey it has been. But the end is finally in sight with our swan song being the Ringed City. So join us for the final chapter of this grand adventure and let us make the most of it.